Hi folks, Nice from HollandAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, uh, I've got the GPE Google Play Edition ROM for the Galaxy S4. Uh, this is available for any of, any of the Galaxy S4s with the Qualcomm-based CPU. Uh, that means it'll work on the GTI 9505, AT&T T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, and Canadian models. Uh, for those of you with AT&T or Verizon S4, uh, you do need to have a low-key device. It, meaning that if you have already have CWM or Torp recovery installed, you're good to go. But uh, if you have Safe Strap, it's not going to work with that. Uh, this is a custom ROM version. Uh, it's a GPE, but slightly modified, and uh, it is by XA user Dan VDH, who is an excellent developer. So don't forget to check him out. Don't forget to donate to him. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff you you will see with this GPE. Um, since this is a Google Play edition ROM. Uh, it means that Google has actually built the ROM for the phone. And it's amazing they're still updating to uh, Lollipop. Uh, it is running the Android 5.0.1, as you can see here. And you can verify it's a uh, true uh, Lollipop by clicking on that Android version. And you get this nice little Lollipop sign here. Uh, and also, if you hold it down, you can play this little game, um, which is actually really hard. Ooh. Ah. It's just hard to get like even one point. Anyway, go knock yourself out if you've never tried Lollipop. And inside everything you'll find running stable. Uh, there are a couple apps, extra apps you can install with its Roma graphical installer, which I did here. Audio FX app. And uh, also you can get the one plus one camera, which I recommend. This one allows you to save uh, your photos to the SD card. It also does have HDR mode, Monosepo Action HDR. So there you go. So if you need HDR, just switch it right there. Um, also, if you want Google Camera, you can go ahead and download it from the Play Store. And let me go ahead and show you some of the options this ROM does have. If you go to Settings and go into Interface, uh, you'll find some extra customizations. Um, you can go ahead and customize the battery if you want to circle. And boot animation, you can go to androidbootanimation.com and uh, go ahead and download, and then you can change your boot animation there. Uh, buttons, you can enable the on-screen navigation buttons, also disable your hardware buttons. Maybe your hardware buttons are broken or uh, they're not working well, then you can go ahead and uh, use that option. Also clock, you can go ahead and move the clock to the center, which I like doing it. If you need AM, PM, go ahead and add it there. Also days of week. I like adding it. Um, so a little customization there, and also music controls, network traffic, status bar, uh, some more stuff you can do. Um, so very nice ROM, and this is gonna give you stability if you just wanna install like one good lollip lollipop, lollipop, a lollipop ROM for the next uh, month or two or three months, you know, and you're not like a flashaholic, then I really highly recommend this. Um, or, you know, the, the CM12 builds are pretty solid also, most of the AOSP ROMs. Uh, but this one is, you know, built by Google, so it's going to be a little bit more stable. And also, it should give you about 30% performance improvement uh, over uh, many other uh, ROMs there. Uh, KitKat ROMs, I mean. Almost 30,000. That's amazing. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And do let me know what you think. But I think you guys will like it. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.